That's not a Virago. Accessory power is essentially power that is supplied from the battery only when the ignition is on. Like that. Normally when you take the seat off, you'd be able to get at the wiring that goes to the back lights. So specifically, you'd try to find the wiring for your marker light or your license plate illuminator. But this bike hasn't got that. It's got this really nicely loomed up thing that disappears down here and cannot be got at unless I take the side panel off. And of course the side panel, Yamaha, has a security thing and it's the only one on the whole bike. <sighs> Yamaha. So getting this thing out, your security bit, and it's not even a regular size, it's like a T30 or something. Just pull forward, it's just held in place by rubber grommets, and this wire is right here. Okay. So two of these wires are gonna be, so it's green, black, blue, yellow, brown. My guess is black is ground. This thing came off easy. Just a couple of five mil Allens. And I see blue and black as the colors we're gonna be using. We're gonna use an automotive relay. It is like a dollar or something at crappy tire. What it's doing is if it gets power on the two side pins, it will close the circuit on the top and bottom pins. So what's, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the blue and black on the side pins, and we're gonna get the top and bottom. Top on the red, bottom is gonna be our accessory. Lucky, lucky. They spliced in the black and the blue wire at the factory. That's not my tape. So I can just take that tape off and wire in my connector direct like. Ah, it makes so much a little more. Oh, that, and then the loom's just gonna come back. It's gonna look so good. Oh yeah, I like this. So I just wound my wire around and I'm gonna tape it back together and that will hold forever. The reason we don't just hook up whatever we wanna power here is that this is running a light and it probably has some control module down there that's gonna explode if you plug in something that takes 30 amp. And... Look at that. Like I was never even here. <laughs> so just as a demonstration of what's going on, top and bottom pins are connected right now to the battery, red and black, right here. Nothing's happening. White is connected to ground, and as soon as I touch green to power, these white and greens on my bike are going to be the blue and black wires. This octopus looking thing is going to be my wiring harness. That goes on the battery. That's the black wire. That's the blue wire. That's going to be my accessory. So I'm just wrapping my wires in some uh, black corrugated loom. And the reason for that is that if these wires do start contacting the frame, I may end up shorting the light and therefore boiling the, uh, the thing under there that I don't want to boil. I don't know what's connected to. I'm just going to run the test. Will it work? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If you remember in here, the blue wire was spliced up here and the black down here. And that's so that they don't ever have a chance of having those two terminals touch each other. So I'm going to do the same thing. Got the black wire splice marked with a white zip tie and the uh, blue wire splice marked with a blue zip tie. I've got my accessory power hooked up to the only thing I need right now, which is the uh, nav system. And if I turn on the bike, That should have worked. Shit. Well, it helps if you plug in the friggin' relay. Moment of tooth. <laughs> and we are finished. If I turn on the key, the Garmin comes on, lights are still glowing. Just make sure all the everything else works so i did this for my new bike but the same principle applies to a virago for any bike use a relay connect it up to your license plate illuminator or your marker light and then you've got accessory power anyway shiny side up